Hello all, my name's John. I'm going to show you how to set up vertex painting in Unreal Engine. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for um, Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what vertex painting is, if we look at here, I've got my brick, uh, brick pattern on the back here. And you can see it's perfectly clean. And if I just scroll over here, we've got the same pattern, but it's variation in dark. So here it looks a bit dirty and you know, it's not so dirty up here, but it looks more natural. This is used a lot in AAA games to simulate realism um, and add, you know, more um, texture variation without eating into a ton of like memory um, and performance and whatnot. So how we do this is if I go over to this little one I've set up over here, is we'll right click in a content browser, press material and give it a name, so I'll just name it Joe and drag that onto our mesh. Then what we'll do is open up our material, hold L on the keyboard to create a lerp, plug that into base color, and then we'll right click, type vertex, select vertex color. Now plug in the right, what you can do here is there's uh, uh, the right, the red, you've got red, green, blue, um, from what I understand that means essentially you could have three uh, vertex variation, uh, color variations, so you could have dirt, uh, wet, um, blood, whatever, and um, you can switch between these three. So um, we'll just stick for the red uh, with the red for the minute. So then what we want to do is get our two textures that it's going to uh, switch between. So I'll um, just use some I've got here already, um, got a dirt one and a brick one. Then what we'll do is we'll plug that into there and that into there. So we've got our two colors now. Press save. And now in theory, we should have a color on our wall. So close this window. Yeah, there we go. So we've got our brick wall. So now what we want to do is we want to go to our paintbrush in the mode section and scroll down and you want to make sure that the only one that's ticked is red. Um, so you can see here when I said about the red, green, blue, you could switch between that if green was blood and blue was wet whatever so we'll stick to red and um, what we then want to do is you can see here we will set the brush size to say it's 100 so it's not so um, big and um, go to paint color and I go between white and black so we'll just drag that up to black and paint so they can see we've got now some dirt on there um, as you can see here it's, it's quite aggressive in the sense that it's not showing any brickwork behind so what we can do is we can say go to paint color and just say ramp that down so it's a bit more gray so if we go over here it's still showing brickwork behind it so it looks a bit more you know if you want to do just a little bit dirty that's really dirty a little bit dirty um how this is decided is decided off the um you can see here when i highlight over you've got the vertices uh, these points which are vertices and um, that's what's created in the mesh so i could add loads more edge loops in here to get a lot more control over what i want to do so an example here is that we can see here that i've I can say, well, I just want a little bit here, but it's not affecting anything over here. But if I go to this mesh here, uh, do, 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 where is it? Uh, that one. Um, this, in theory, so I'll apply our texture that we created. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And what should, in theory, happen here is we've only got four points. Yes, yeah, so we've got one point there, one point there, one point there, one point there. So what happens now is that when I apply uh, this you can see here it's affecting a bigger um, section of the uh, image rather than of the sorry of the texture um, rather than like over here you see you haven't got much control over it but what I could do is add edge loops in a 3D program add edge loops into this to gain more control like this one over here As you see here it's not affecting anything over here um, so yeah that's the that's the basics really of vertex painting this is used a lot in um games um like you know naughty dog games things like that to just bring things to life and um without eating into huge amounts of performance so yeah hopefully this helped if it did please like and subscribe cheers